Hi, my name is Natalie Young. I'm the Daily Experience Coordinator at Minatrista, and this week is National Public Gardens Week. I'm celebrating by sharing some information and activities about animals that we like to call garden friends because they help our plants grow. Today, I'm going to be talking about bees and how they uh, help pollinate our plants, and I'm also going to show you how you can make a bee house and a bee watering station for your own garden. Bees help our plants grow by acting as pollinators. Pollinators are insects or animals that move pollen from one plant to another, which makes it possible for those plants to create seeds. Bees have sticky, hairy legs and bodies. When a bee visits a flower to drink its nectar, some of the pollen made by the flower sticks to the bee. Then when the bee flies over to the next flower, it leaves some pollen behind and picks up new pollen. If you look closely at this bee, you can see how hairy it is, and you can even see some pollen stuck to it. By moving pollen from one plant to another, bees help plants make seeds that can grow into more plants for us to enjoy. Now that we know a bit about how bees can help our plants through pollination, I'm going to show you how to make a bee house to invite these garden friends to your backyard. While some types of bees like to live together in hives, other types of bees live alone and might need to find a place to stay. Your bee house will be a perfect spot for them. To make a bee house, you'll need a jar or other container with one open end. Be sure to rinse out your container and allow it to dry before using. Straws or paper that can be rolled into tubes, like magazines or newspapers. A toilet paper roll. Tape. String. Scissors and about 15 minutes to put it all together. First, if you're using paper instead of straws, roll your paper into tubes about as big around as a pencil and secure with tape. Note that you may need to cut your paper tubes or straws to be the same height as your container. Next, take your clean, dry container and place the toilet paper roll inside. Add your straws or paper tubes until your container is full. Finally, Tie strings securely around your jar or container and hang your bee house in your garden for the bees to find and enjoy. If you really want to be a pollinator pal, you can also make a bee watering station for your garden. Like all living things, bees need water to survive, but getting it from a pond or river can be dangerous for little flying creatures that don't swim well. By providing a small source of water in your garden, you can become a bee's best friend. To make a bee watering station, you'll need a shallow dish, like a plate or pie tin, stones, water, and five minutes to put it all together. After finding a shallow dish, place the stones inside. Then pour in some water, but make sure that the water level can't get over the stones. Bees will use them as a safe place to climb out of the water. Finally, place your bee watering station in your garden and refill as needed. Now all that's left to do is sit back and watch these helpful garden friends flock to your backyard bee oasis. <laughs>